या हाई फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द यूजर्स एंड इट्स टाइप्स ऑन यूनिक्स प्लेटफॉर्म मेनली देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ यूजर्स ऑन यूनिक्स प्लेटफॉर्म फर्स्ट वन इज रूट यूजर विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एडमिन यूजर सूडो यूजर्स सूडो यूजर्स आर दो यूजर्स हु रंस सम कमांड विथ रूट प्रिवलेज एज द वीडियो गोज ऑन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इट मोर थर्ड वन इज नॉर्मल यूजर लाइक इन रियल प्रोजेक्ट सिनारियोज ई टी एल टेस्टर्स आर नॉर्मल यूजर्स लाइक आई ऑलरेडी सेट इफ यू आर इफ वी गो बाई लाइव प्रोजेक्ट there will be only one root user which will have all the privileges or mainly works like admin user he or she will create the user will give the privileges like that admin work i mean to say that they will do the admin work then the sudo users sudo users are those users who run some command with the root user privileges i will give a simple example on that if you all if you all are already using unix you must be remembering that after 30 days or 45 days the unix os will prompt you to change the password for that you have to enter your old password then you have to enter your new password new password as we know that unix stores the user information user password everything in files because on unix everything is file whether it is a directory it is a device file it is a link file it is an ordinary file everything is a file and file is nothing file is a stream of data or stream of bits mainly what happens in unix unix stores the password information in etc password file if you do ls hyphen ltr on etc password file you will find that normal user does not have write permission on that i think you all will be knowing about the write permission like every file mainly in normal scenarios every file will have rwx privilege that is read write and execute read means you can read the file cat simple cat write means you can do the vi or you can edit the file you can change the content of the file execute means if it is executable file you can execute it ksh hyphen x file name now we were discussing about the sudo users like i already said you like if you are doing ls hyphen ltr or etc password file as a normal user you will find that there is no right permission on the file even then you are removing your old password and writing a new password in the same file correct in unix when you are using a path sorry when you are executing password program you are executing that program with the root privileges because in unix only root users has the privilege to write into the etc password file now we will discuss about the mainly there are two commands with the help of which you will become a sudo user or a super user mainly there are two commands su and sudo command su and sudo command if you do google you will find there are two commands su and sudo command 
वट इज द मेन सिंटेक्स और जनरल सिंटेक्स टू रन द कमांड एस यू कमांड दैट यू वॉन्ट टू रन एंड देन एंटर इफ आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल आर एम फाइल एम प्लस एंटर दिस इज ए कमांड ओके देर इज ए देर इज अराउंड आई थिंक टू और थ्री डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन दीज टू कमांड एस यू एंड एस यू डी ओ कमांड फर्स्ट वन वट इज द डिफरेंस वट इज द डिफरेंस If you are doing su command plus enter, the Unix will prompt you. Unix will prompt you for the root password or admin password. But if you are doing su do command. plus enter then unix will prompt you the user password that you used to log in to the unix that will unix will prompt you the user pass to enter the user password that's the main difference if you are using su command unix will prompt you to use root password if you are using su do command then unix will prompt you to use user password that you used to log in to the system there is one more difference with the help of su command you can switch to another user account like suppose there are two user account in your unix platform ramesh and suresh you are working as a suresh okay now you want to switch to ramesh you don't have to log out you just do su ramesh plus enter then the unix will prompt you to use will prompt you to enter ramesh password unix will prompt you to enter ramesh password prompt you to enter ramesh password but with the help of su do command you you can't switch the user now in new linux flavors su command can be used to work as a sudo command i mean to see that say that if you are using su command then you have to use root password and if you are using su do command that is sudo command you have to use user password if you are using su command with hyphen c option hyphen c command then the linux will prompt you to enter user password simple so mainly there is two differences if you are using su command you have to enter root password if you are using su su do command you have to use user password with the help of su command you can switch the user but with the help of sudo command you can't switch the users if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and let me know on which topic you want me to make videos thanks a lot